Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Okay. So, you know, Delta is, is probably one of the Greeks that's the most approachable. But it can get a little bit tricky. See, the thing is, is that with deltas, we're just looking at an at-the-money call. Here, let's go back for a second. We're just looking at an at-the-money call option, right? The currency is at 108.90. The 109 calls, those are pretty much at-the-money. And the delta is about 50. That's typical. That's normal. At the money options have a delta of about 50. In the money options have deltas greater than 50, and out of the money options have deltas less than 50. Now, knowing that, and knowing that those strike prices don't change, those 109 calls are going to be 109 calls until they expire, but the underlying currency does change in value. <clears throat> that means those 109 calls could become in the money if the currency rises, and they could become out of the money if the currency falls. Therefore, the deltas are going to get bigger if the currency rises, and the deltas are going to get smaller if the currency falls. Wow, well, there's kind of a curveball. Just when you think you got it, I throw this at you. It's okay. This is measurable as well. Gamma is the rate of change of an options delta relative to a change in the price of the underlying. All right. So just like delta was the rate of change of the option given a change in the underlying, gamma is the rate of change of the delta given a change in the underlying. So look, here are the delta of those same AUX 109 calls the delta is 50%, but the gamma is this. It's 0 0.1081. Let's just round that to 0 0.10. I'll round down. What that is, is that's, that, that's 10. That's 10 deltas. So if AUX rises from 108.90 to 109.90, our delta is going to increase by the amount of the gamma. Our new delta is going to be 49.70 plus 10.81. I'm moving the decimal point here. So we're basically, we're going to go from a 50 delta to a 60 delta. Now, <clears throat> gamma seems kind of unimportant and of the four Greeks we're talking about today, for most people, it probably is the least important. But here's the important thing you need to know about gamma. You need to know that when you buy options, you get positive gamma. And when you sell options, you get negative gamma. Now, let me explain what that means. Think about if we bought a call here, OK? We know if we buy a call, we get positive gamma. We know if AUX rises one full point, the option rises by 50 cents. But it actually rises a little bit more than that <coughs> because our delta doesn't stay 50 the whole trip up. By the time we're up a point, it's 60. So we actually make a little bit more than we think we're going to make because our delta rises. <clears throat> and if this currency rises another point, our delta gets even bigger, and it grows and grows and grows all the way up to 1.00 or 100. So now that's beneficial if I own that option, right? Now what if, what if we buy the call and the currency falls? Well, a point lower at 107.90, our delta is not 50 anymore, it's 40. It's 10 deltas less. 
So we're actually losing a little less than we think we're going to lose. That's beneficial, too. <clears throat> and the further the currency goes down, the more gamma helps us out because we lose less than we think we're going to lose. We lose at a slower rate. We make it a faster rate and lose at a slower rate. Gamma's great, isn't it? Well, it is when you own options. When you're short options, you know, gamma kind of hurts a little bit. Because just imagine if we were short that call. You know, probably you're not going to sell a naked call. It's going to be part of the spread. But, you know, let's take this incrementally here, one concept at a time. If you were short this call, you know if the currency rises by a, a full point, you're going to lose 50 cents but you actually lose a little bit more because your delta rises. That's bad. What you want to have happen is you want the currency to fall so the price of the call goes to zero. <clears throat> what our delta tells us is that a point lower, we basically make 50 cents, right? But really, we make a little less than that because our delta gets smaller. That's the effect of negative gamma. So if you come away with nothing else on gamma, this is what you need to look at. Long options have positive gamma, and, and gamma always helps you. Short options have negative gamma, and the gamma always hurts you. Now, I found out how to use the Q&A thing here, and I see that Harold has a question. <clears throat> is gamma the increase, i.e., add 0.1, or is it the percent increase, that is 10% of the delta? Great question. And that, yeah, that's a great question. It, it can be kind of tricky because delta is a percent. But <clears throat> look at gamma as kind of your number of deltas. So it's, you're adding 10 onto it, you know. So basically, if AUX rises by one point, we go from 50 to 60, not 10% of 50, from 50 to 55. Okay. Now, here's another one of the Greeks that many people are probably familiar with. In fact, there's a lot of people whose sole reason for trading options is to exploit this one little nuance of options, the sensitivity to time. Now, if you look at this, we're going to use a GBP, right? That's the British pound, and that's stated in terms of British pounds over U.S. dollars. So the pounds are at, incidentally, exactly 151 in this example, which is taken from yesterday. And as you see, there's 25 days until expiration, until April expiration. That's that circle to the right side of the screen there. And the pound, the uh, 151 calls for these April pounds are 180 bid at 187. Now, for those of you who never really thought about the effect of time, what, if you're going to own a call, okay, say somebody gives you a call for a Christmas present. It's the right to buy the pounds at 151, right? Would you rather own that right for 25 days until April expiration? Or would you rather own that right for like, you know, a year next March's expiration? Well, clearly, it, all things held constant, you're, you're being given the call. You'd much rather have that right for a longer period of time because it has a better chance of being worth something. Now, nobody's giving you a call for Christmas. You've got to go out there and buy it if you want it. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.